All right, so here we go. So this is a updated video on how to um, go live on Facebook using a pre-recorded video using the OBS uh, software. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is is go to um, your page. You have to run it from an actual um, Facebook page, not your personal profile in order for this to work. So go to your page. So right now I'm on my page and then you want to go to business manager. All right. So now we're here to business manager and now we want to set up a live video. So once you're in your business manager, you can just click the live tab here and then let's go to connect, change it from camera and switch over to connect because we want to stream it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream a video that I've done um, a while back on YouTube is how to grow a list. So I'm going to put that in as the title. And then this right here is just for your notes on the back end. You just won't see this. And then any tags or stuff you want to add here, you can add. So I'm just going to put the same title here. And then I have a small description here as well that I'm going to add below. So you can put whatever you want to put there, but um, that is my title and my description of the video. So this is what the public will see once we go live. Um, definitely want to make sure it's shared on a page that you manage and then just make sure that it's shared on the right page. So this is the page. This is several pages that I manage, but this is the page that I want to do it on my Lewis Pike personal page. Okay, so now we want to hold that for now and I'm going to pull up OBS now uh, because we want to come here. So I've already set up some items that I'm going to use to record, but I'm going to walk you guys through the process again of how to do it. So we want to come over here to um, scenes and we want to, I'm going to do a test image and click OK. All right, so now I have the scene set up here and now I have to add a source to it. So um, click the little plus here under source and then let's go down to image. And we want to do create new. The image name doesn't matter. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I want to go find this file. So I have a file already of the image I'm going to use on my desktop. And I click OK. So image is there and let's click OK. So you may have to resize the image. So you can just drag it here and then just grab one of these corners on the red box on the outside and then just kind of play with it and see if that fits. So maybe that's a, take a little bit smaller. There we go. So that's good enough right there. And the image is adjusted. So now what I want to do is you want to um, add the actual video source as well. So let's go back here under scenes and click add again. And then that's fine. You can call it whatever, but I'll just leave it default for now. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to call it test video. Click OK. And let me go and add a source. So for the video, you want to go to media source under sources and then click OK, create new, um, name it, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use the default for now and click OK. And now I'm going to go locate the video file that I have already that's on my local machine. So click OK, click open, and then let's click OK, and then the video is there. So you're gonna have to adjust the video size as well. So just take the corner and then just make sure that it fits there in the box. And now we're good. The video is good to go. So I have my test image and then I have my test video. So you guys see how to set those up. The reason I do a test image is because it's gonna be, that's what it's gonna, going to show up once you start streaming and then I switch over to the video shortly after. Um, if you want to create like a custom image or something in Canva, you can totally do that. But anyway, let's continue on with the training. I just have those there for test. I'm actually going to use the um, real ones here that I created. So next we want to do the next thing we want to do is we want to come over here to settings. And then we want to go to stream. And then you want to change this service is it if it's not already set to Facebook Live, you want to adjust it to Facebook Live. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to copy the stream key. So I have that copy and I'm going to pull OBS back up. Click OK. I'll just show it just to make sure that it matches what I have there. 
it is the same and then let's click OK. So now the stream key is there. The next thing we want to do is, is before we go live with streaming, we want to come over here and on the video, you see there is a media source audio that's going and there's also a mic that's going. This mic here is picking up me talking. So um, you don't want you, uh, people to hear you talking once the pre-recorded video is live. So just press the control here to mute that. So now my mic is muted, but the media source is still live and going for when I play it. All right, so now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna select it on image because I want that to show up first. And then we're gonna come over here and do start streaming and it's going to connect. It's doing a test and you wanna, you can come back here. It's going to be fetching the video stream Sometimes it can take a few minutes, so boom. So now we are connected, and that's the preview of it. So what I want to do now is that we're good. Um, I see it on Facebook, and it's green here. That means that we're good to go. So I'm going to go live here on Facebook. So go live, and then I'm going to jump back over to OBS, and I'm going to start the stream. So again, they can't hear me because I've muted the audio but the video has gone live and it's now planned um, and people can join in and watch this video live because it's live on my page. So there we go, the live video is there and that is essentially how you record, uh, actually stream a pre-recorded video live on your Facebook page. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments, but I hope this video is helpful. Have a good one.